Hey friends, welcome to another painting in my 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. This is my 18th one, and that means I get to paint my puppy newbie again. He is my little corgi boy, the goofiest pup I know. <laughs> All right, so what I wanted to talk about today while I get painting my little corgi portrait here are some things that I wish I knew when I was a younger artist. All right, so let's jump in. So the first thing, if I could go back in time and tell my younger artist self these things, one of the first things I would tell her is that you are allowed to play and explore. Not everything you create is going to be amazing, but everything you create and the way you perceive everything you create, that will have a part in forming the artist that you become. So if you choose to give up on something, that shapes who you are. And if you choose to persist, that also changes who you are. And you are allowed to play and explore, test out new mediums, test out new art styles, Follow that crazy idea that won't leave you alone. You are allowed to have fun with the process. That's the beauty of art. And you get to create something beautiful in the process. And I think that is absolutely magical and wonderful. And the world would probably be a much happier and better place if more people actually had fun with artwork. That's, yeah, I strongly believe that. So, yeah. You are allowed to play and explore. Another thing that I would tell her is that the artists that you idolize, they started somewhere too. So don't be too hard on yourself. You are always growing and learning. And yeah, those people that you think are perfection and are incredibly skilled and that you know, you've got that little voice inside your head that keeps saying, you'll never be as good as them. Well, guess what? They were exactly where you are today at some point in time, but they persisted. They also probably had a voice inside their head that told them that they weren't good enough, that everybody else was better, but they persisted. And so should you. Another thing, that I would tell my younger artist self is that the reason why you create art is a really important thing and to remind yourself of it often. And this is like, this is such good advice. Somebody gave me this advice and it's something I hold near and dear to my heart. And yeah, I do remind myself of why I create my artwork almost on a daily basis. And the reason why I think this is so important is because that reason why you create art, it's going to drive you forward and it's going to keep you going when the chips are down, when you're struggling, when you feel like giving up, your reason why is going to keep you moving forward. And that is absolutely beautiful. Remind yourself as often as you need write it down on a sticky note and plaster it over your little art st station or studio and just yeah remind yourself about why you are creating artwork now we obviously can't go back in time to change our past but i'm using these little things as reminders today so in a few years future you can look back on you today and would you rather be struggling with the same things that you are today, a couple years from now, or 10 years from now, 20 years? Probably not, right? So cut yourself a little slack, take some time to think about these lessons that you wish that you could tell your younger self and start following them yourself today. You'll probably be happier for it. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.